I welcome each one of you to this chapter 11. And this chapter is talking about managing data to improve business performance. We have seen how information systems, information technology can enable the business. And we have understood a lot of things about the usage of technology in business. Now, the question is that whatever data we have collected with the help of various systems, subsystems, maybe ERP within the organization, how that can be used by top management of the senior management. For this, we need some ready-made ready solution. For, us, for this, we need a solution which may empower the management to understand the data quickly and take a call, take a decision. So that's why we say managing data for business performance improvement. How can I improve the business performance? The first section of this chapter 11 is talking about data visualization. Let's understand what is this data visualization. Friends, data visualization is presentation of data in pictorial or graphical format. A picture is worth thousand words. This we have heard, seen and experienced. We have maybe thousand words, maybe thousand fields with us, huge data with us. Now the question is that how can I understand this data without dwelling deep into it? How can I understand, interpret, know more about the data at a glance? For this, friends, we may use data visualization, which we are in a position to see on this map. This map is having dots of different colors. What every dot is indicating is something like changes in population density of a country. Changes in population density for countries. People per square mile. Okay. So, gain 10 more is dark green. 5 to 10, little less green. 2 to 5, still lesser. And 1 to 2 is a very light green. Minor changes is grey. Minus 1 to minus 2, slightly orange. And leading to lost 10 or more to real orange, dark orange. Now, with the help of this map, you are in a position to understand what has happened to the density of population in this country. Where the population has increased where the population has decreased and now on the basis of this you can take lots of business decisions and lots of government decisions about planning, management. Maybe from the business angle we may say that okay let me open new stores in this area, in this area. This area was also perfect for opening new stores. This area is also good. Oh, let me check if the need is so, then I may close down few stores in this area, this area and particularly this area where the population density is growing down. So now we understand the power of it. How can we use? So this is something like a graphical presentation or data visualization. Data visualization, visualization enables decision makers to see analytics presented visually. So they can grasp difficult concepts or identify new patterns. In this map, we have identified what few patterns. Now with the help of this, we are in a position to understand the new pattern. With interactive visualization, we may have interactive visualization. What this interactive visualization may be? That I'll keep on 
changing the data i'll keep on changing the parameters and after every such change or modification i'll be having new image new map new diagram this is interactive visualization one can take the concept a step further by using technology to drill down into charts and graphs for more details interactively changing what data you see and how it processed say in this map if i want to do this then let me understand okay i have enlarged it and now i'm clicking here say i am clicking at this point so i'll be able to see a larger map of this limited area this you have experience in the case of google maps also whenever you wish you are in a position to increase or reduce the size of the map so this is interactively changing the data which you want to see tools and technologies related to data visualization in this chapter falls into three related categories so we have three related categories three related categories what are the categories one is information delivery one is information delivery how information will be delivered two is data analytics how this analysis will happen and then the third one is data integration how analyzed data or the raw data will be integrated into various other components for this depiction okay so what is happening in the case of information delivery we have dashboards and we have interactive reports we have dashboards and interactive reports in the case of data analytics we have data visualization data discovery and geospatial and gis and in this data integration we have data mashups and gis we'll be talking about all such parts of the components one by one this is another example of data visualization how can you see what is happening okay so this table is in a position to show the sale of furniture office supplies and technology and how it's happening increase decrease and so on so in central east south south and west region what is happening just to identify one simple fact if it is minus 50000 plus then the color of the cell is darker as compared to minus 10000 plus so with the help of colors we are in a position to show a lot of things you are in a position to understand that oh this is happening this cell is darker meaning thereby that significant positive change has happened in this area so office machines southern area has gained beautiful in this manner we are in a position to understand what is happening in a particular area 